forever. Neither metaphor nor sermon, this soft-covered book titled How to Get the Death You Want, its bookmark rarely moving, lies on its side on a small oak table. Reachable from the commode that boasts a slam-free seat, the book's title and its resting place could surely spawn a gaggle of late-night jokes. And his author, John Abraham, a former Episcopal priest, would likely join in the merriment rarely spawned by this hands-off, not me, not yet subject that's been his passion for the last 40 years. Jokes aside, we have to open the book and take turns turning pages, you, me, and everyone else. It's only now that we can put it all in order so when our turn comes around, we'll have a bon voyage, the envy of every postponer of page turning. Who wants to be the first to say, I could have done it better? Death, the jumbo in the room, is hard to see as it is unequivocal in its insistence regarding what we leave behind, including everyone we know, everything we own, every future calendar entry, every poem in mid-pen, every loaf half-eaten, every sight and song and touch and taste and tune we've cherished. Inside the cover of the book, John's handwritten inscription, wishes for the best to Harvey and Mariana forever. Oh, John, your last word. Is it an Episcopal commercial? But as Tevia would say, on the other hand, <laughs>